seems that the unending conflict between the Israelis and the Palestinians is never out of the news. But there's another battle in the Jewish state that's far less obvious to outsiders. Most Israeli Jews, Jews consider themselves to be more secular than religious, but apparently the number of strict ultra-Orthodox Jews in Israel is growing. Today they make up around 10% of Israel's population, and their high birth rate will mean that within five years around a third of all Israeli Jewish children will be enrolled in ultra-Orthodox schools. Video journalist Sophie McNeil says this trend has secular Israelis worried that their way of life could be under threat. The neighborhood of Maya Sharim is the heart of Jerusalem's ultra-Orthodox community. Life here revolves around prayer, study and ritual. Not much has changed since the suburb was built in the 19th century. Its devout residents don't welcome outsiders, who must observe a strict dress code. People here don't like to be photographed or filmed. But Rabbi Israel Gelas considers himself a fairly modern kind of ultra-Orthodox Jew, so he's offered to show me around. In Australia, this is Australia. Thank you, Shalom. Ultra-Orthodox Jews have traditionally had an aversion to technology and most families around here don't have televisions. As the rabbi explains, many get their news from these posters instead. But the rabbi doesn't think his community is old-fashioned, and he's keen to show me around the local DVD store. But the rapid growth of this community has recently led to a series of confrontations with secular Jews. In September, a delicatessen near Tel Aviv that sold pork was firebombed. Just a few months before, a planned gay pride parade in Jerusalem sparked violence by the ultra-Orthodox, as reported by Israeli television. כבר יותר משעתיים שהשוטרים כאן סופגים וסופגים, מנסים בכל הכוח שלא לשחק לידיהם של המפגינים, אך בינתיים נצבר כאן עוד ועוד כוח. Recently, news broke that Israel's first crematorium had been firebombed. דש לאחר שאתמול בבוקר נחשף המיקום הסודי של המשרפה בעיתון חרדי. בערב היא כבר עלתה באש. אנחנו נגד כל פעולה לא חוקית, אבל אני שמח על התוצאה. It may seem like an unusual target, but Jewish law stipulates burial for the dead, and the ultra-Orthodox believe that cremation is sacrilegious. להקים פה קרמטריום זה לחלן את כל המושג את הקדושה הזאת של ארץ ישראל. Cremation is not against the law. Crematorium owner Alon Nativ is convinced ultra-Orthodox Jews were behind the arson attack. So they are taking a lot of force and trying to enforce their way of life upon other. And it's something unacceptable. In any case, we are going to bring either to uh, fix it or either to bring a new one. 
and we are going to continue. We won't let uh, the Orthodox terror to stop us. Like many secular Israelis, Alon Nativ also resents what he sees as special treatment that the Orthodox community receives. Most ultra-Orthodox men are exempt from army service because it interferes with their religious studies. And many Orthodox families rely on government handouts. They are not serving the army. Uh, they almost pay uh, nothing uh, to the, uh, as uh, taxes. Uh, they're taking, from the other hand, endless amount. I think it's, it's a sign for the people in Israel that has to consider in which type of country we want to live in. Do we want to live in a democracy or a theocracy? Uh, וכשאני מגיע לאיזשהו אזור שהוא לא דתי, אז מסתכלים עליי כאילו שאני ירדתי מהירח בשום מקום, ולמה אתה לא משרת? אף פעם הציבור הלא דתי לא יסתכל לכיוון שלו כמה משתמטים וכמה כאלה לא משרתים ולא יוצרנים בציבור הכללי, שזה עולה מבחינת אחוזים הרבה הרבה יותר מהציבור החרדי. Local TV reporter Efrat Iris Benoz is one of thousands of Israelis who are turning back to their religion. Raised as a secular Jew, Efrat now considers herself ultra-Orthodox. She says recent protests are not evidence that her community is becoming more extreme, just more vocal.